Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay, Empowered by Magic Labels. This day I am here with a beautiful, uh, you can say it as a flower or a flake. It, it, it goes well with both the names, so it can be flower motif, flower flake. And this particular pattern is done in just two rounds and uh, very quick to finish. And when worked with fine yarns, it gives a great effect. For the demonstration purpose, I am going to use my iron yarn and show you this particular piece I made with my hobby store uh, Mercedized 3 ply cotton and a 2.3 mm clover crochet hook. So, I shall be demonstrating with baby pink iron yarn, hobby store iron yarn 2032 color code. And a 5 mm clover crochet hook. So let's begin the pattern without much delay. So to begin with chain 11 or you can go with a magic ring too. So let me chain 11. So having chain 11, slip stitch to the first chain and form a ring. Now chain 2, chain 2 does not count as any stitch just to give the height for a DC. This will get hidden in the stitches. Now make 24 double crochets into the ring. So place 24 double crochets and get back. At the end of uh, making 24 double crochets in the ring, I have slip stitched and joined to the first double crochet. Now chain 1. This does not count as any stitch but it gives a flexibility. Now you are going to make a small pico. A small pico is made up of 3 chains. 1, 2 and 3. And slip stitch to the first chain of the 3 chains that you have made. So uh, we have made a small pico. Now chain 1. And make a large pico which is made up of 5 chains. Slip stitch to the 5th chain that is the first chain of the 5 chains. Now place 2 trebles in the same stitch where we began our where we made a last slip stitch. Having done this, we are going to make the trefoil. Trefoil is made up of chain 7, slip stitch to the first chain, chain 9, slip stitch to the first chain, chain 7, slip stitch to the first chain. So let us chain 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, slip stitch to the first chain. First petal of the trefoil is made. Now chain 9. Slip stitch to the first stitch here. Chain 7 again. Slip stitch to the first chain. Now make 2 trebles in the next DC. Now chain 1 and make a large pico. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to the first chain. Chain 1 and make a small pico. Now chain 1 and slip stitch to the same DC where we made our last two tre trebles. 
so this is how each of your floral flake will look like yeah so to go to and make the next floral flake slip stitch 2 into each of the next three doubles so one two and three again work this floral flake over these two stitches so this and this so you make chain one small pico chain one large pico two trebles in the same stitch then make the trefoil seven chain seven slip stitch to the first chain chain nine slip stitch to the first chain chain seven slip stitch to the first chain of those chains and make two tre two trebles in the next dc and then complete the two large pico and the small pico slip stitch and continue the stitch repeat all around so you should at the end you should be having six flower flakes so complete the round and get back i should also complete and get back so i have completed this flower flake motif titled leander snowflake this can be used as a flower motif or it can be used as a flake too okay and at the end of the round i did the slip stitch into last two and slip stitch to the first slip stitch that we the first stitch that we did here and fastened off and i hit the yarn so thank you friends for viewing this small video hope you liked it do subscribe and share our videos if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel yet if you happen to be the first time viewer of our channel please do subscribe like and share our videos do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you are notified of the videos that we upload every other day Bye for now. Have a great day. I shall be back with yet another pattern in the next video.